What's going on, Mrs. Wise? Day one, I feel like a marshmallow. It's very windy, and that, with my little experience, I feel like that means that the animals are probably just somewhere out of the wind. And that's where I want to be. So I'm <laughs> going to try <laughs> to climb up that hill and look for them, and if they're not there, I'm just gonna go back to the car. It's the coldest day of the year. And looking at the forecast, it's potentially the coldest day of both October and November. Which means we're freezing our little ninis off out here. But uh, I'm gonna run down to this special little honey hole that I have where I've seen bulls lots of times in the past while deer hunting and see if there's any tracks. While Alexander goes back to the camp slash car and stays warm because that's what a good guide does. Well, this is my little honey hole spring that I've known big bulls to come in and drink out of and wallow in. In the past, it's kind of hard to get to. Thought it might be a good spot to set up an ambush for Alexandra with a musket so that she could get close and make it happen, but it is bone dry. So that's one, one spot scratched off the list. It went from being the coldest day of the year so far yesterday to being the coldest night of the year. I'm pretty sure it was down into the single digits, potentially even into the negatives last night. So we spent the night in the rover snuggling, <laughs> trying to not die. <laughs> And now we're trying to not die still <laughs> out here in the cold. <laughs> what do you think about going elk hunting in these conditions, Mrs. Wise? <sighs> <laughs> That's a no. <laughs> I'm in a sleeping bag, in a sleeping bag. She's in a double sleeping bag. And I have two layers on. With all her clothes. <laughs> the weather's winning this one. The weather's winning today. I have a nice hot morsel for you, Mrs. Wise. How does that make you feel? Do you really want to just go outside and hunt elk now? Definitely. I'm just going to take a couple of civilized bites on camera. Then when you put that down, I'm just going to drink this. <laughs> Even down low. Should've, it froze. Should have brought our ice skates. We could have skated along this road. The air conditioned driving part of the hunt is over. Now we have to actually get out into the 35 degrees. Hey, that's way better than five. 35 degree temperatures and go look for elk. Let's do this. But I'm not seeing them on the right now. Uh, moo. <laughs> Couple of old looking cow elk tracks. But we know they can't be that old because it's been super duper windy. So the wind kind of mars the tracks. So those are at least in the last week. So there's elk in here somewhere. Let's just find them. Guess what this is? This is my cow that I shot in 2016 with my bow. Look at what, what's happened to her in four years. She looks very different. Seen anything? Nope. I know there's probably no elk here and I'm listening to the guide who says there's no elk here. I have this weird sensation of like FOMO that there might be an elk over there. I think I understand you guys now, but I don't really. I don't. I really don't. You don't but want to. I don't but want to, to. But it's like, it's the risk. It's the gamble. It's the like chase that there might be. There could be an elk. There, there. could be. The only way to know is to look. It's really disappointing to not see anything. I kind of have FOMO. I kind of want to check it out.
making all those horse tracks we've been seeing. I feel like this is what I came over here for. So I'm gonna practice stalking on those horses because I just really like horses too. See how close we can get. I'm gonna take the camera with you and show the people. Cool. Come along, people. have a lot to learn about being sneaky. <laughs> I'm not very sneaky. I got caught. Well, I mean, to be fair, they knew we were here the whole time. So mm -hmm. I never really had a chance, but I mean, I was close enough that I could have shot one, maybe. Like, I was in range. But I definitely scared them off. So I have a lot. A lot to learn. So I'm satisfied with that. I'm really happy to have that practice and I'm ready to go home now. I don't need to look for elk over there. Are we going home or are we going back to camp? Oh, we're going back to camp, which <laughs> feels like home. We're going back to camp home. Home is where it's warm and you can snuggle and eat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know of any other hunter that I've ever hunted with that values snuggling higher than just about anything else. <laughs> I think that if Alexandra could have a world record bull or be warm, well fed, and cozy, and well snuggled, she'd have a really hard time <laughs> taking this one. 